حمدتك أي رباه في مطلع الأمر وعذت بربي من شرور في عالية After praising Almighty Allah and seeking his refuge from the evil of my own acts This is case number 003 in keeping Islam relevant Welcome to Al-Hiriz Institute to the latest on the wildfire disaster in Hawaii. The death toll is rising and hundreds are still unaccounted for. Gio Benitez is live on Maui for us this morning. Good morning again, Gio. Michael, good morning again. Yeah, that death toll rising to at least 99. And the governor believes that that could double as more of the area is searched. Now, we want to show you this dramatic new video here because it is just chilling. Now, officials say that at least 2,200 structures were destroyed, 86% of them housing. This, as the demand for answers grows, firefighters we've spoken with say hydrants were running dry when they were trying to fight the flames. And, of course, those claims from so many here that no alerts went out before the fire. Respected audience worldwide, the fire that you've seen in Maui, Hawaii, and the one that you've seen in Europe that drove over 23,000 people out of their own homes and see how people are fleeing and running from their own homes that perhaps they just finished paying their mortgage, that perhaps they just bought it cash, that perhaps they just moved in, but they're still running away from it. So this fire that we are running away from on this earth that we've been using to cook and when it burns or touches your hands, you quickly remove your hands. And the fire that most of us are fleeing from and the inferno that engulfed California and conflagration that engulfed parts of Europe's few weeks back. All the fires that we are using and witnessing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said this is only one part from the 70 parts. And Nabi Alayhi Salatu Wasalam said, Narukum Hadi, Alati Yuki Dubnu Adama, Juzun, Min Sabina, Juzan, Minari Jahannam. قالوا إن كانت لكافية يا رسول الله قال فإنها فضلت بتسعة وستين جزءا كلها مثل حرها The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said This fire that you use on this earth from the beginning of the creation all the way to the end of it is only one part There are 69 parts more All of them are similar in heat May Allah save us from the heat of hellfire. But why all of this? Why the fire? Why corona? Why diseases? Why afflictions? Why turmoils? Why problems? Allah subhanahu tabaraka wa ta'ala said, وَمَا نُرْسِلُ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا تَخْوِيفَ And we do not send portent afflictions, signs, except to warn people, except to strike fear in the hearts of people so they wake up and know that there is something ahead of them that is worse than what they see in. So they have to reform themselves, reconstruct their lives, and reconsider. So the purpose of all this is just to strike fear in our hearts. وَمَا نُرْسِلُ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا تَخْوِيفَ is to warn people, is for us to wake up, sinners, to wake up that some of us that disbelieve in God to wake up and return to him and some of us that take their religion lightly to wake up and reflect that if you are fleeing from this one percent of fire there are 69 parts that remain and almighty subhanahu tabaraka wa ta'ala says as people in hellfire are screaming people will cry so much so that they will shout loudly and with a very stentorian tone and call upon malik the guard of fire and they will say ya maliku o malik liyaqdi alayna rabbuk call upon your lord for what to take them out no to lessen the punishment, no. To remove them out of that chastisement, no. What do they want? Are they calling for salvation? No. Are they calling to be removed? No. Are they calling to be saved? No, 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 and no. Then what? لِيَقْضِ عَلَيْنَا رَبُّكُ We only want annihilation, destruction. Please call upon your Lord to put an end to this punishment. Even if he is to annihilate us, even if he is to destroy us at once, it's better than being here. It is said that Malik will not respond to them until after 1,000 years. And after 1,000 years, the answer is, إِنَّكُمْ مَاكِثُونَ You have nowhere else to go. You are remaining here.
forever. They will then give up in Malik, and then they will say, why not to call upon the Creator himself? He is more merciful than this Malik. Malik is just a guard. Let's call upon our Lord directly. They will then call upon Allah, and they will say, O oh Allah, Rabbana, O oh our Lord, غلبت علينا شقاوتنا غلبت علينا شقوتنا O oh Allah, our desires and our inner evil and our intents and bad deeds brought us here. Please remove us from this place. In Udana fa inna zalimun. If we ever return to claim that there is any along with you that is worthy of worship, if we ever worship other than you, or if we ever fornicate, or if we ever commit adultery, or if we ever drink, or if we ever stop praying, and if we ever return to cheating, or if we ever return back to bad deeds, indeed, then and only then we are wrongdoers. In Udana fa inna zalimun. Almighty will tell them, remain therein despisedly. Wala tukallimuni and never talk to me again. Ya Allah. If Allah does not want to hear your voice and Allah does not want you to talk to him, who else do you have? Often if you are in deep dejection and problem, afflictions and problems, you cry to Allah. Now you're crying to you, O Lord, that you denied his right, that you repudiated his religion. Now you're crying to him. He said that remain in it despisedly and do not speak to me. Do you know why? Two reasons. Number one, because they despise the truth. They hated the truth. And number two, they mock the servants of Allah. They mock Muslims. They took Muslims to mockery. They ridicule Muslims. They look down upon the slaves of Allah. They despise the truth and they rejected the believers and laugh at them. Remember, some of my slaves used to cry to me and beg for my mercy and they submitted to me. But you look, you look down on them and you disdain them and you rejected them and you used to mock them because of that. I don't want to hear your voices. It is said that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them not to talk, speaking will then be forbidden. They can no longer speak. They will then begin to wail like Birkin dogs and bray like braying donkeys. And that's how they will end in hellfire. They can't speak and their cry will be like dogs and their tears and shouting will be like braying donkeys. May Allah save us from this place. So all what we see is to reflect. We pray that Almighty Allah makes it easy on those who lost their loved ones in Hawaii and those who lost their loved ones over there in Europe and in all the places that people are struggling. And as we speak, this Hurricane Hillary that is passing through California right now, we pray that Almighty Allah saves the people and save all of us. And those who passed away in Hawaii, the Muslims among them, may Allah accept them as shuhada. We pray that Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save us. Now to hirzify this message, Anas ibn Malik, the companion of the Prophet, was asked, what is the dua that the Prophet used to say the most? He said he used to say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina azab al-nar. So Anas ibn Malik never made dua after learning this without including this dua. And even if he wants to ask Allah for something, he includes this or he preamble his dua with this. So as my brother and my sister, make this as part of your prayer. Whatever you want to ask Allah, you want to ask Allah for money, for a good husband, for an obedience wife you want Allah to bless you with a nice home you want Allah to heal you whatever that you want from Allah preamble that prayer with this give us the best of this life and the best of the life after here and save us from the punishment of hell remain blessed wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Arzuna, 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 Arzu